All right. Well, I'm also filming a giant us haul book haul this morning. But before we get into that, I wanted to do a quick lesson on, I just want to show you math with confidence and an actual lesson from it. Now, first we got product of the day. So the first product of the day, look at these. They're under five bucks. The links are in the description. They're under five bucks. This is kindergarten level, but they got them preschool. And so it's something, so this is the writing letters and this is the numbers. So it's almost like I pulled it out at the doctor's office. And so this is the numbers. So it goes, so it starts off with zero, zero, find the one with zero aliens inside and it builds, find zero bows and it builds from there. So it goes through every number. So they're number puzzles, it's a practice pad. I just think it's very cool for on the go. And you don't need to bring even a pen with you. You can just have them sit in your lap and do it. That's how I do a lot of things. Okay, and so the next thing I have for you is an activity, a simple creative activity you can do that gets story building going inside the head. And it is take three characters. It doesn't matter if they're Lego pieces, you could do three blocks. I mean, really three or four things. It really does not matter what they are. I just happen to grab these off the table. And look, he's missing a leg. Okay, so then you start, you say to your child, okay, I'm gonna do one sentence and you do one sentence. We're gonna make a story together. Once upon a time, there was a superhero and he flew to the moon looking for something. And then it's your child's turn. He really wanted to take a motorcycle somewhere. He really wanted to go after, and it doesn't matter, but you're doing one sentence at a time and you're building a story together. So try it, try it with three different objects you have around your house. Okay, so let's talk about math with confidence. Math with confidence, $18 for every additional student you have, $50 for the first one. So these books, this book down here is not your primary resource. This is independent work that they do on their own, which I think is cool. And it's one worksheet every lesson. So it's not overwhelming. This is the kindergarten level. And what I love is that it teaches number sense. It teaches about uh, money as well. And it teaches about subitizing, which is the fastest way to count in life. So you're learning to recognize quantities without counting them. Recognize small quantity, quantities without counting them. Because if you think about it, if you had 30 of something, what's the fastest way to count that? If you go all the way up to 30 and you lose track, well then that's just a mess. Whereas if you could range them into fives, that's a faster way to count. Okay, so now everything comes in the book. So this is if you do not have pennies, if you do not have nickels, if you do not have dimes, or you do not wanna buy them, you can use this in the book. Also comes with a 10 frame that you're gonna need, but you will have to have some type of counters. So I got mine at the dollar store. But whatever counters you have, you have beans. Eventually you're gonna need them in at least two different colors. Okay, so let's talk about, so today we're doing seven. So first you always do a warm up with fast fingers. So under a book you always do, just so they can start subitizing, okay? Put three fingers out, pull the book away. How many fingers am I holding up? Two fingers, pull the book away. One finger, it doesn't matter, but just go through all the fives that they can recognize without counting. And now we're gonna do count to seven. So the bolded is what you say. In the last lesson you learned the number that is one more than five, and that number is six. So today we're gonna to learn about the number that is two more than five, that is number seven. Now this book, in case you're wondering, was this program was written by a Harvard-educated woman who has dual degrees in education and mathematics. So it is, it's just really well thought out, easy to do, and inexpensive. I just adore it, I adore it. Okay, so after that, so then you're gonna move on to, okay, pull out seven counters out of this bag. And then again, we're gonna arrange them in the five and the two. I see a group of five plus two, that means there are seven. Let's put the counters in the 10 frame too. Then you put them in the 10 frame. Then show me a group of five. They show you the group of five. Show me the two other counters, show you the two. How many counters are there total on the 10 frame? Can you use your fingers to show me seven fingers? All right, so they're using math conceptually, visually, like all different ways to really understand the concept as to what's going on with math, and then you pull out the pennies. If you have pennies, I bought a number set, I'll leave the link in the thing, it was like $6. So they pull out the cents, and then you show them that, okay? And then they're gonna go through. See now, these boxes explain a lot of stuff. So most children go through three stages as they learn to recognize quantities from six to 10. They count each counter individually, then they count on from five, six, seven, and stage three is to recognize the combination of five and then some more, so five and two make seven. So it explains to you in these, the intelligence behind the activities you're doing. And then it goes on to, today we are learning seven. So you see you're totally bonding with your child and yet it's not taking hours. 
and then they do seven. So they have to trace the seven and then, <laughs> it's great, eh? and then here, draw the circles in there to match. Now my son is pretty quick, pretty smart. And so we don't, I don't, I'm more relaxed about, like he's always gotta do something his own way. He doesn't follow directions like a robot. See, but as long as he had the line and he knew right away, I mean, it took him like two seconds. He's just pretty quick. My youngest is very quick like that. So that's fine. To me, that's sufficient. I just wanna know that they know it. And you are done. You have knocked out math. So kind of amazing if you ask me. Tune in tomorrow for my Usborn video. Au revoir. All right, all right, all right. Once more than that's it, then that be it.